my pranams to you. One week back, I just explained in Malayalam how tens of thousands of people are getting cheated in the name of Ayurveda, producing materials which will never never give even 1% of the result claimed through the advertisements and I specifically quoted about Levana Thailam the explanation given in Malayalam attracted tens of thousands of people and hundreds of people called me and through email informed me requested me that I should also give this message in English so that other people can also understand the the negatives behind that. Now I am talking to you about Levana Dailam not as a religious or a spiritual man but as a scientist who worked for 28 years in biochemistry particularly my PhD is in oils and fats, lipids I worked in India, in Canada, US and I have got about 6-7 patents, 13 awards for research and popularization of science. On that basis I am telling you that many of the Ayurvedic drugs claim so much that not even 1% result is available from that. One among that type of drug is, drugs is Levanathailam. The word itself is a negative word, a contradicting, conflicting word. Levanam means salt, thaila means oil. In chemistry, the principle is like dissolves in like. Petrol can dissolve in oil, oil can get dissolved in petrol because both are non ionic compounds. Water can take salt because salt is an ionic compound water can accommodate that whereas salt will never get dissolved in oil you can do the testing you put the powdered salt in oil and try to mix it perfectly the salt will only disperse and after some time it will settle the one which never will get dissolved in oil and then you are putting that in your body and expecting that the body will become thin or lean is nothing but but humbug experience, idiotic experience I would like to say and you know the fat of the body, it is not the water of the body it is the adipose tissue and other fat depots which makes somebody very fat the fat will not absorb outside and osmosis will never work as far as the taking out of the material of the of the fat person and the producer of the Levanathaila himself is so fat I know him pretty well living in one of the villages nearby Chalakudi, Trichur district of Kerala. He used to say if he get 1 crore rupees from Levanathailam of which 80 to 85% is spent for advertisement and the remaining for salary and his profit. So Levanathailam survives only through advertisement. People who use them one or two days or three days in the beginning they feel that when they are becoming thin. And after that, the result is the same. But since they got te cheated, they will never tell outside that they used the Levanathailam. It is useless. That they will never say. Because they themselves got cheated and people will start making fun of him, fun of them. So they will not disclose it. It is just like uh, sexual diseases. So my information to you is as simple as that. Levanathailam 
is not a scientific Ayurvedic product. It is not mentioned in Charakam or Sushrutam or Sahasra Yoga. There is no Ayurvedic medicine like Lavanathailam. But anybody can produce anything just like M.F. Hussain can draw the picture of anybody, particularly Hindu goddesses. And like he thought, nobody will react. The Lavana Thaila manufacturers also think that nobody will react. They will purchase if the result is not good, they will just forget about it. But the most unfortunate thing is that the medical branch of ministry, the drugs controller, they all keep quiet of this. The daylight cheating is going on just like the blade company or just like money, uh, money uh, laundry or uh, cheating of the money, leasing, donating and charging 24% interest. That is going on. We say in Kerala Blade Company, with the hidden charges, they give the loan and when the money is taken back, the charges will be so high. That is a daylight cheating done by the licensed money lot people. Same way without license or with some crooked license, Lavada Dailam has been manufactured, packed, distributed, giving high commission sold with a high level of advertisement. Most unfortunate thing is that some crooked people started doing this. Later on, standard Ayurvedic companies started copying this. In Bhagavad Gita, it is told, Dhyatacharadi Shrestha Tatta Devi Tarojana Sayat Pramanam Kurite Lokastha Dhanavartade. When the great scholars, meritorious people, and the emeritus thinkers do good things and make the guidelines for the others, the ordinary people will follow the pathway of the great scholars. But here what happened? The great Ayurvedic companies followed the crooked people. The reverse happened. And now, fortunately or unfortunately, you will not see the advertisement of Levanath Island. But instead of that, you will be seeing advertisement of so many other type of Ayurvedic product which will never work. Why I am telling this with confidently? Because 80 years I spent in CSIR doing exclusively research work on Ayurveda. Totally my research experience is 28 years. As I told you earlier, I am not projecting myself, but I am informing that I have got the scientific background with a PhD in biochemistry. So, so many type of Ayurvedic products and uh, advertisement of nutritious food, daylight cheating of the parents, particularly mothers and women folks, are appearing in the newspapers, in the TV, and also in the print medium. I would like to tell you that just like you select a good hotel for your lunch or dinner, just like you select a good movie for watching, just like you select a good music for listening, just like you select good clothes for your apparel, Select good doctors, select a good company, select a good product only. Don't go beyond below, uh, don't go behind the advertisements. Advertisement can be given without any restriction, restriction for any type of products as long as people did not die, people do not die. But it is your responsibility to use it or reject it. Simply following these type of advertisement for growing the hair, for removing the baldness, for making thin, for whitening your skin, these will not work for you for a long period. Instead, 
it can create allergy, it can create terrible negatives for your skin, head, hair and so on. Remember that, exactly remember, like there are memory improving drugs which are sold in 200 crore rupees worth of products just before the examination period. I would like to assure you one thing, not even a single simple drug is available in the world either in Ayurveda or in modern medicine or homeopathy for improving memory. The only solution you go mentally back and start recollecting each incident, each event and train your brain to recollect and memorize the past. That is the only possible way for improving your memory. Nothing else will work. No drug, no tablet, no tonic, no drinks. Nothing will work for your converting the skin into white or bringing the hair or decreasing the body size, etc. Truth is truth, fact is fact, essence is essence. Advertisements should not cheat you. This is my request. But freedom is left to you whether it accept or not. My pronouns to you.